Well, good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a good day wherever you are. My name is Jessica, if you're new to my channel. So today I figured I would just kind of do a chill video. I wanted to share you, I'm in my bathroom right now. Why am I starting this video in here? I have no idea. And it's not even clean. I've got like a towel hanging. I've got my water and coffee, my curling iron. Anyway, I'm gonna take you down to the kitchen. I wanted to share with y'all a little grocery haul, kind of chill video here at home today, kind of vlog style. I did recently get kind of a grocery order in and I wanted to share with you guys some dinner and breakfast staples I tend to always have on hand for quick dinners and breakfasts breakfasts and then also some of our favorite snacks some of them are healthier I found a way to save money on these things I've been buying for a while and I want to share that with you guys I did want to mention that this video is sponsored by Thrive Market you'll learn more about it in a little bit I do have a link in the description box if you are curious about them but we'll talk more about that in just a minute let me grab my coffee and water clean this room up a bit By the way, I wanted to show you this pillow I've had for a while. It's from, I don't even know if they still sell it. I just assume they do. This sleep yoga pillow. And it literally is farther down in the middle so that your head is only like an inch off of the actual bed because I had so many neck problems and I'm loving it. And then when I'm on my side, it's a little bit fluffier on the side. So since I am a side and back sleeper, this has been a game changer. Like I said, I've had this for years, but only recently started using it a few months ago. And it is totally like fixed my neck problems. Today is also laundry day, so I'm trying to like knock that out amidst this. I'm one of those people that I feel like laundry somehow goes on for days when really for just two of us and a toddler, it should be like once a week. And I always think I'm gonna do it on the weekends. And guess what? When the weekend comes, I never wanna do it. So I end up doing it during the week. So I'm trying to get it all done today, but we were at like a little beachy area this past weekend. So we have a lot of like beach towels and extra things that are dirty. By so. the way, for Mother's Day, my husband Tyler got a Bloomsy box subscription for me. So I think it's like six times a year, every other month, something like that. You get a kind of seasonal bouquet and oh my gosh, this is like the summer one or the June one, whatever. It came with some of them not bloomed. So it really does like bloom throughout the weeks. The last one we had literally lasted over a month, you guys. It was insane. But look how gorgeous. Ah, oh, the life of having a two-year-old. <laughs> just like comically messy. <laughs> I feel like I try to keep up with the mess and <laughs> you just can't. Anyone else just like drink coffee all day long? I try to cut back. I'm sticking to like two cups of coffee a day, which I don't think is crazy at all. And I remember even talking to my doctor. He was like, even three cups is fine. Maybe not every day, but it's not like, I'm like, yeah, okay. Then I think about like my brother who drinks like a pot of coffee every day. Okay, so I'm finally down here. I've just refilled my coffee. I got these little bad boys at Costco and they're so great. They actually keep your coffee or tea, or whatever you're drinking warm for longer. I wanted to share with you guys some groceries I recently ordered from Thrive Market. And this video is kindly sponsored by Thrive Market. So thank you for supporting my channel. If you've never heard of Thrive Market, it's an online marketplace where you can get tons of different organic foods and natural products for your home for 25 to 50% lower than traditional retail prices. I can tell you with certainty that is true because anytime I've gone to retailers near me that sell these particular brands and products, I pay way more. So when I discovered Thrive Market, I couldn't believe how much I was saving. A lot of these are staples I typically have for really quick dinners, for really quick breakfasts. I said that again. <laughs> And then also some of our favorite snacks and a couple of new things I wanted to try. So let's start with breakfast. My favorite cereal of all time is the Nature's Path Organic Sunrise Crunchy Vanilla. You guys, I love this. It happens to be gluten-free. I'm not gluten-free, but my mom is, so she can have it when she's over. It's so lightly sweet, but it's crunchy. It's got different textures in there and I freaking love it. And I think that was like a dollar, I think that was over a dollar cheaper than what I typically get it. And so I was like stocking up. Another quick breakfast we all love in my family are muffins and this is one of my favorites it's from the brand Kodiak Cakes it's their blueberry lemon muffin mix it's got tons of protein I love it my daughter will eat like half of one which is kind of a big deal because she's a toddler and you know toddlers they like never eat and that blueberry lemon flavor is so freaking good so one of our favorite like quick dinner things is having 90 second rice this is our favorite brand 
And I feel like a lot of times I can't find it in store. So I, again, I kind of stocked up and bought a couple online because these are hard to come by and they're so good. So it's their organic brown rice from the brand Tasty Bite and the organic jasmine rice. The brown rice we love with like chicken, you can put a little dressing on it, it's so good. White rice we love when we make more like Asian style foods. Um, another thing we like to have on hand is sesame oil. And I have not tried this one, but I'm pumped. It looks so nice. It's the Napa Valley Naturals Organic Toasted Sesame Oil. This, if you have ever made our sesame beef taco recipe, I can link the actual recipe below. We made like a PDF version. You have to have sesame oil for it. And you guys, it is life-changing. I'm telling you, this taco recipe is life-changing and it's just as easy as other taco recipes, but it tastes totally different. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. I might make tacos this week. We just had them last week. Sesame oil is necessary and I've been looking for a really good one. So I'm really excited that I found that there. And then for like salads, whether we have them for lunch or for dinner, my husband's been growing lettuce in our garden. So we've been having salads a lot. And Primal Kitchen is one of my favorite brands and they sell Primal Kitchen on Thrive. And this is their just oil and vinegar vinaigrette. More simple ingredients, which I also love because I wish I had the time to make dressing at home, but I also know that's just not happening. One thing I love about it is, you know, for me with being quarantined more at home and trying to stay away from the stores as much as possible. Being able to order this stuff online is so easy. It's quick, it's free shipping over 49 bucks, which I love. They have a really good app that for me, as I run out of things or I think of things I need, I'll just add them to the cart on the app. And then like at the end of the week, I'll just check out and I can get it shipped. And what I love about it is I don't feel as guilty ordering online from them because they have zero waste warehouses and they're delivering it with carbon neutral shipping. So we recycle the box, we recycle all the packaging in it. And I think that is so important and so awesome. So another thing I just wanted to try, my sister was telling me about is dandelion root tea. I've heard it's good for detoxifying your body and it can help it says it stimulates the liver it supports healthy digestion all right so let's move into snacks y'all i got some of our favorites that are healthier they're more organic they're not as bad for you maybe as you know like just buying oreos from the store or something listen i love oreos too i get it i'm just saying well okay let's just start with <laughs> the thing that is the most delicious thing i bought and it is the brand back to nature and it is their fudge mint cookies okay we discovered these when we were in Disney, we bought them. We like grocery shop for our like hotel room there. These are so good. They're like Thin Mints. They're more plant-based and you guys, <laughs> and here's the thing. These were like way cheaper than what they are in store. So I probably should have bought like three because we love to just have these in the freezer. So I think my next order, these will be gone like in a week. So my next order will definitely have more of those. One of my favorite snacks of all time are these cauliflower stalks. So we got sea salt and okay, fine. We also got cheddar. We've already eaten the bag. Like it's mostly gone. Oh man, I could kill a whole bag of these. So that I was pumped to see on there. We also love the harvest snacks. These are red lentil snack crisps, but I've also tried the like green pea ones. Those are really good. That's kind of where I started, but these tomato basil ones are very good. If you're like wanting a salty kind of savory snack, I love them. We also got uh, Genevieve's little cheddar bunnies from Annie's. Again, this is something we always have on hand for snacks. I like them too. Okay, one of my favorite things we got, they do a lot of things on Thrive where it's like pick three and create like your own little bundle or pick 12 of whatever it is. And in this case, they were these skinny dipped almonds. So I did a pick three and I got the dark chocolate espresso, the dark chocolate mint covered almonds, and then the dark chocolate cocoa. Let's try these. Which one do I wanna try? I'm like super hungry. Let's do the dark chocolate mint because I've never had minty almonds. You know what I mean? Holy moly, these are good. I gotta hide these from my husband. So Thrive Market is a membership-based market. So they have two different options. One option is you can do the one month membership. It's $9.95 for the month. The other option is the 12 month membership, which when you break it down, ends up being $5 a month. And that's what I went with because Honestly, I'm placing an order at least once a month, if not twice a month. And so I feel like that just makes the most sense. I'm saving way more than $5 a month. Like I think this order alone, I saved like $16 off of retail. So I've already made my money back. Another reason I love Thrive Market and why I was excited to work with them is they do have an initiative called Thrive Gives. So for every paid membership, they give a membership to a low income family in need so that they can order from Thrive. Any company that gives back like that, I think should be supported. And I think that's really neat. Another awesome thing is right now, when you join today, you can get up to $20 in shopping credits, which is 
fantastic. You can give it a try, see if you like it. So if you're interested in checking out Thrive Market, I have a link down at the top of the description box. You can click it, you'll give your email address and kind of create an account, and then you'll choose your membership model. Like I said, I chose the 12 month one because that just makes the most sense for me because it breaks down to $5 a month. What's nice is it's risk-free. So if you try it for 30 days and you're really unsatisfied, you can get a full refund, which I think is really cool because that tells me that they really stand by their site and their brand and their company. So I figured I would share with you guys what kind of makeup I'm wearing today. So I actually put on the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. I have not tried this in years, so I recently rebought it. It's actually, the shade isn't terrible. I've just never been able to find a good match, ironically, with the name True Match. You'd think I would. But I have in 1-2 Neutral. It's okay. I ended up having to layer on powder foundation because it just... I don't know, like it was just kind of wiggling around on my skin, like I couldn't get it to stay put. Honestly, if you're looking at L'Oreal, I like the Age Perfect Serum Foundation that's pretty new, way better. I've been using that like crazy. So that's something I'm wearing. I'm wearing the Benefit Boing Concealer that it's almost gone. I haven't used up a concealer in a while other than my Bobbi Brown one. So this one I've like used up, I really like it. A lot of the things I talk about all the time, so I'm not gonna go through everything, but I am wearing the MAC little cream to powder blush in, what is it called? So Natural, it's their Glow Play blush. And I do think it's so pretty. This stupidly expensive Charlotte Tilbury thing, I'm wearing the bronzer and highlight. And you know what? It's grown on me a lot. I, there was a long time where this just kind of sat in my collection and I liked it, but I didn't, I don't know. But like the past few weeks, I've been using this a lot more and I'm like, actually, but I am wearing the L'Oreal Age Perfect Creamy Powder Foundation. I applied it with my like beauty blender and I think it looks really pretty. It added that coverage, but it's a nice thin powder. And I pulled out my Anastasia Sultry palette. I have not used this in a hot minute. I think it's hard to come by. It might be discontinued, but I used rose quartz all over my lid and then twig in the crease, a little bit of fresh on the brow bone. And then I think I tapped pearl like on the center of my lid. So really pretty simple look. And then the L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara and then the Maybelline Eye Studio liner. I really, really like, but this Maybelline Hyper Easy Liner, I've been using a lot the past few weeks. If you like liquid liner, I think you'd like this. It is more of a brush tip and I'm typically a felt tip girl, but I do enjoy it. So I, okay, couple things. First of all, my rug is uh, rolled up because we got our carpets cleaned at this point, like a week and a half, two weeks ago, and I still have not unrolled my rug. That is the level of like laziness that, that I am at currently. It's just, I keep moving it around too, like. Anyway, why did I come on here? Oh, hmm. Oh, well, a few things. First of all, I got so many mosquito bites while we were gone this weekend. And I have like Benadryl cream I put on them, but I, oh my gosh, you guys, it's like so bad. And I feel like as the days progress, I have more and more. And we had bug spray on, like we were doing the most and it did not matter. I also got a little bit sunburned. It was a rough weekend, guys. Oh, another thing I've gotten a lot of questions about is... If I am seeing a chiropractor, I was mentioning my neck problems earlier. Neck problems is a little dramatic. Really what it is is that like, you know, when you sleep and you wake up and your neck, even in the middle of the night, if you wake up is so sore, that's what I mean. It wasn't like a severe, well, I don't think it was severe, but literally a week or two of using a pillow like that made a huge difference. And the pillow I was using all along was like a nice expensive one, but it, I don't know, man, it just wasn't right for me. But another problem I've been having is my left hip ever since I uh, gave birth to my daughter a couple years ago. I like to run and I my hip just a couple miles in will just kill me and I do all of the hip stretches and all of that. So a lot of you guys recommended going to a chiropractor. I'll actually be calling a place near me that's really highly rated and getting on board there. I've never been to a chiropractor, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm sure there's nothing to be nervous about, but you know, it's like anything unknown in your life. It's weirdly nerve wracking. So that's on the docket. I'll let y'all know how that goes in the next few weeks whenever I get in. Another thing I get a lot of questions about is my devotional. I know not all of you guys are religious. I'm not trying to pressure anyone into anything. I just wanted to share because I do get questions. Uh, this is the devotional I have. I've had a few by Sarah Young and I've loved all of them because I don't know. It's like from God's point of view, if you will. And I always feel like it is so dead on. So I really like it. I I wish I could say I read it every single day. I try to, but it doesn't always happen. But it's a good one if you're kind of looking for a daily one. It's kind of like a kind of rainy day, but it's warm since it's summer. So it just feels so nice. I like just sitting out here. I don't know if you guys watch our vlogs. We put them on my husband's channel, which is Tyler Travels TV. And 
anytime like he does the watching the garden grow segment and so it's just quiet and you're just seeing it up close with just the ambiance and it makes me think of if you watch the cbs sunday morning show they do a moment of nature at the end every sunday and tyler and i both love it so i'm sure he was kind of inspired by that and i like to include that sometimes in my vloggy style videos like this and so yeah we got little duckies over there So, like I said, I'm gonna make some lunch. I think I'm just gonna have a wrap. We had green smoothies this morning that were so good. If you wanna know what we put in our green smoothies, etc., I can link that down in the description box, the vlog where we shared it. I think it was a Vlogmas video from December, back when things were normal. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna make one of my wraps. I don't know that we have much left over. We have like hamburgers and hot dogs left over from grilling out last week. And I'm like, man, you know, you eat a hamburger and it's like, you know, slightly unhealthy. But then when you have leftovers of it, you feel like you're eating hamburgers all week. And I'm like, well, <laughs> I can't do that, man. It might be cool enough to like actually go on a run today too. But I want to edit this video today too. So I hope that you enjoyed. Like I said, thank you Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in checking out more from them and signing up for a membership, like I said, the link is down in the description box. Let me know if you like these grocery haul videos. I know I added a little bit more vlogginess to the beginning and the end. I thought just to add a little flair to it. I don't know. But let me know if you're into that or you'd rather just see me get straight into the groceries. That's fine too. But I love you all and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.